Do you expect to see a change from him next season? I, I think that's going to just happen with the growth of being a now 24-year-old NFL vet. And I'll say this, you know, when he had that talk with Jerry Reese, that, that, that conversation just didn't resonate with Jerry Reese, but all the coaching staff and the players, that they need the best Odell Beckham on and off the field in the locker room. And, and take nothing for what I'm saying is a negative. The guy loves ball. He loves football. He works hard. He practices hard. But you don't need all the side distractions, right? You don't need the punch in the walls. You don't need the little drama on the sideline. And that comes with just the passion of the game. And I appreciate that, especially from an offensive player, him just, you know, displaying that kind of passion. But when it turns into a negative, now you need to alter how you're doing your things. There's, there's nothing about me right now that says that he will not change with the growth of being an older player, now having a full all season. And you're going to rewind. I think as a football player, we all sit back and say, what happened during the season to me? And I think he's going to notice that, you know, there were some good times and there were some bad times. And the bad times we talked about a little bit more. So uh, I think with Odell, I do think that conversation with Jerry Reese was very critical for his growth as a New York Giant. Because at the end of the day, they need him to win ball games. They need a very positive Odell. Because when he's rocking and rolling mentally, physically, and emotionally, the Giants are at their high. Go ahead, Max. Well, I, look, stay with me here for a second, okay? I think everyone can relate to this idea, or many people can. Uh, you know, you, you think about the, the kid as a kid in school or the kid in school or at the job or wherever it is, that doing well matters to them. When they mess up, it, it affects them. The kid who doesn't do his homework but who cares about how he does, that's a really bad feeling for that kid. That affects them. The person who wants to do well at the job and screws up, and they care about the job. They want to succeed. They want to get ahead. They want to be on a winning team. When they mess up, it means something to them. And I think that's the kind of guy Odell is. And so he will try to internalize some of the lessons he's learned through experience and to be better and to do better. It seems to me, from everything I'm hearing, um, and, and just from some interaction with him, that that's the kind of person he is. The question is, from a football point of view, because look, I, I don't expect him to be perfect going forward. He will continue to make mistakes. He's human, and he's an emotional guy. You can see that. So can he, on the margins, affect his behavior and rein it in a little bit and be on the right side of that line? I, I think that's possible. But the question is, from a football point of view, what is more useful? Ryan Clark brings up the fact on this show and has brought up the fact that Antonio Brown just doesn't care. He's a me guy, right? According to guys in, in Pittsburgh, he's a... So, when you're, he's, it's kind of a sociopath that way, in a sense, on the football field. Like, whatever else is going on, he messed up, he made it difficult for someone else. He doesn't care, he's going to go out and ball. Maybe Odell is the kind of guy, because it means something to him, when he messes up, it actually affects him. When he thinks he didn't do it the right way and he needs to get better from this, maybe that has something to do with him dropping a pass. Maybe putting pressure on himself that way. So the question is, as a football fan, do you want Odell to be the kind of guy who cares and works on it? Or might it be better if he's just like a psycho who just blocks all that stuff out, whatever, not trying to please anyone else? From a human point of view, you have to like the fact that he cares and he wants to work on it, and I think he will improve. Not be perfect, but I think he'll improve. I'm Max Kellerman. Thanks for stopping by. Before you go, hit the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a moment of me taking down Stephen A. Smith.